Hi, I'm Alex Sam, we're the Mischief Maker, and today we're going to be making mulled wine from this little French cafe that has a book called La Bouvette. So, we have, um, you're going to pronounce it, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> anyway, so this is a, a really reliable wine that you can find everywhere, and, um, What'd you say? Every 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 drugstore, Alyssa. You can find it in any drugstore or liquor store. And it's or just dependable. It's always the same. It's a little bit sweet and it's very full body, which is good for a drink like this. So, this is the mold wine of choice. I trust Alyssa to pick these things. So anyway, old it's a Zinfandel, right? And it's inexpensive. That's yeah. the other thing. It's under ten dollars. Well, and you don't know how many batches of this you're gonna need to make. So, the recipe says to use one bottle of rock red wine, such as is in the Del so we have. It. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in my Dutch oven. It's going for it. Can you see the red wine? Good, best of. Okay. And then we're going to add some star anise. You said one, but. I'm sorry. Be generous, people. Three cloves. Do you agree? Would you do the same thing? Okay. One cinnamon stick. She says half. But, you know. Let's see. A fourth cup of honey. And also a one black cup small piece of smashed fresh ginger. Optional. I don't have any or I would add it. <laughs> but you should. Okay. God, it smells so good. Anyway, a fourth cup of Cointreau. I think this is going to be great, actually. Cointreau. Okay. So, I think that's everything. And then... We are going to cook it on medium low for 20 minutes. Just tell me when you're ready. Okay, so the mold wine's ready, and I have to say I tried it already and it was pretty delicious. <laughs> so, Drew and Lissa are with me. Somebody's gonna get to look close. Isn't that good luck? I feel like it's good luck. Thank okay, you. Okay, there you go. Thanks. I'll take the third. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Why, see how pretty that is in a green cup? Wait on me. I'm fancy. not drinking it without you, sis. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nice. It's probably a... Oh, that's so good. It's so it is good. good. I'm spilling it everywhere. Well, no. I'm, so, I'm sober. So it has Cointreau in it, and I think that that's... Ah, uh, I love it. Gotcha. I do love it. I love it because it's not really, it's whiny and, and you delicious, but it's perfect. not oozy. Mm -hmm. No. You know? You no, it definitely isn't, yeah. This, this tastes like a fancy punch. Mm. You picked a very delicious wine. I'm glad you like it also. It's a good wine to <laughs> cook down. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Cheers! Yay. Merry Christmas, guys. Now let's all run from the cops. <laughs> Seems like a good idea when you're drunk is the point of that. Oh, okay. oh I think yeah. it really does. Well, yeah. it definitely does. Yeah, I feel like we're right. really elegant though with these cups and this fancy wine. Like, no you could be fancy yeah. and run the cops. That's I mean, true. I'm not advocating for yeah. criminals. But Home Alone was real. It was real. There was criminal activity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was. Also, you know, to be left home alone. Love it. Thank Love you. Love it. Merry mm -hmm. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was hilarious. That's how you do it. Mm. I think that's actually fucking great. 